all for taste. It's an excellent choice. What's it all for taste? Break this shit up. Yeah. All right, welcome back to Golf for Taste. This is the first one, uh, first beer review of 2024. Today is January 1st, January 1st, 2024. It's, uh, haven't done a beer review in a while. Figured that today's a good day. Uh, let's go ahead and try this one. This is from Memphis, Tennessee. This is from the uh, Wise Acre Brewing Company, Memphis, Tennessee. It says the Air Bath Session IPA. Uh, it says right there, IPA. It says India Pale Ale, five percent by volume. Okay, cool, cool. Any uh, IBU? I'm sorry, uh, ABV on there? ABB IBUs on there? Let's see. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. Let's see. Nope, but it says company in Memphis, Tennessee. Bu -bu -bu. Oh, it says brewed and canned by the good folks at Wise Acre Brewing Company in Memphis, Tennessee. Anything else on this thing? Nothing else I can figure out. Oh, got a date on there? Uh, 153. And I don't think that's. Oh, who cares? Let's just go ahead and pop it open. No, um, Wise Acre. Never been there. Been to Memphis plenty, uh, plenty of times. This is from the Emerald Republic Brewing Company. My glasses today. The Emerald Republic. Yep, let's go ahead and pop this thing open. Yeah, I haven't had an IPA in a while. Ah, there it is. Um, it's been a while. been missing them. Let's go ahead and do this thing. Ah, oh, lots of foam right there. I must have jumbled it up a little bit. Let's go ahead and pour it a little gingerly here. Try not to get too much of a big head on it. It's pouring a uh, light amber. Yep, like a light amber. Ooh, that's beautiful though. Look at the head. That is like a perfect. Uh, that's pretty good IPA head there. Um, uh, yeah, I, I don't know what else to say. But anyway, the the uh, the head's a little off white, eh, like an eggshell. Really tight, tightly packed bubbles. I don't see any carbonation coming up from the bottom. It's a slight hazy, slight hazy. Um, what I say this was a session IPA. I don't know what that means. I guess it's a uh, not too many uh, IBUs. It's probably the bitterness is probably real low because the session you mean you're going to drink a bunch. Oh, also low. I think maybe the session means low alcohol. Probably that way you can drink a bunch of them. Either way, let's go ahead and smell it. It's going to be hard. I got the I got the the uh, the grill going over there, so I smell the smoke. So, so I'll try to uh, try to not get all the smokes. Ooh, good though. Oh, that's major major tangerine smell. Tangerine slash orange. Oh, that smells really good. Yeah, every time I... Ah, oh, smells really good. Maybe a little bit of uh, grapefruit, too. Ah, beautiful smell. Yeah, haven't had an IPA in a while, so this is going to be good. Let's go ahead and taste it. Ooh, very good. Yeah, like, like I said, the bitterness is way down, so the IBU is probably pretty low. I'd say maybe 25 or so. Um, but, but, man, it's got a nice... Fruity, I say fruity, nice citrusy, but but you know fruity type of uh, taste there. Got the orange, got some grapefruit, slight maybe pineapple in there. That's a good IPA there. Just a nice basic IPA. Not real dank, not real malty, not real sweet. It's good. I can yeah, I could definitely drink a bunch of these. What I said was 5.0, 5.0 alcohol by volume. Wise acre, don't be a wise acre. I'd say be a wise acre. That's good stuff. By the way, there's the uh, artwork. I don't know if you saw it real well. Um, it's very cool. I'm trying to see what's on it. Is it... Uh, there's a hand there with a bunch of... God, I don't know, waves? I don't even know. It's got anyway, we'll let you look at it. We'll, we'll do this. We'll do a quick little uh, spin. Kind of cool artwork. Very graffiti-like, but I'm trying to figure out what that means. Air bath. Hmm. Don't know what it means. Okay. Who cares though? It's good stuff. Good stuff from Wise Acre Brewing in Memphis, Tennessee. Peace. Folks, it's like this. If you don't work here, if you don't sleep here, you don't sleep with anybody that works here. Well, uh, Dennis, they only have one choice no matter, don't they? Well, that's that's this choice. It's a hell! Woo!